name is Dustin Phillips. This is Claire, and this is Roscoe. And this is my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna try to teach you how to play lead guitar. You know what I mean? Because you can be a good guitar player. You, you, can, you can be one of the greatest if you want to. That's if you want All to. All right, in today's lesson, we're gonna be starting to really figure out how to play lead guitar. By now, you should have all your diatonics, you should have all your pentatonics down before you move on to this playlist, okay? Because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be applying these ideas and theories to the actual guitar. We're gonna be doing the real stuff now. So, what key we're gonna be playing in is C sharp minor. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because C sharp minor, A, B, C, C sharp. This area right here is a really good spot to learn how to start your minor and then work out from, from, from your minor scale, which is your Aeolian mode. So what I want you to do is plug your Aeolian mode on five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Because A, B, C, C sharp, C sharp, so, your minor scale, right? Now, you got your minor scale right there. Remember the first note of your pentatonic? You can use those in the exact same spot. That's where they overlie on each other. So, I want you to go uh, ascend in minor, descend in pentatonic. See? Now do a reverse. Back. We're going to do the top three, then bottom three. Then the reverse. Then. I kind of messed that last one up, but you see the thing, the kind of principles we're working towards. Now, I'm going to play some music and I'm just going to kind of show you different things you can do with this scale. So we listen to it first. That's the cadence we're going to work with. And then we hear that. The Aeolian mode right there. So, what I did right there was super, super simple. I just ran through the... That's the scale, right? All we're doing is listening to the music. It's like da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. So it's not, we're not gonna start off real fast. We're gonna stick with that. Da, 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 da. And you gotta listen to the music because there's the drums going like this. There's a da 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 da, da of the other stuff. So there's a little tiny window for you to throw stuff in, but it's gonna be single note things. So just kind of listen to how I play. <laughs> With a 
give it a little A on in. Back to A on in. Hit a talk. A on in. Hit a talk. Aeolian. Then some pentatonic. Aeolian. So, you can kind of see how I'm just mixing those two together because I can take the Aeolian or the minor scale and the pentatonic mode or pattern however you want to call it and I can play each one and they have, have their own individual qualities but then I mix them together and they get and then so the way I see it is you 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 hear how you have to find your voice on the instrument right so my perception of it is you take these two, two, two scales and you mix them together and your interpretation of that mixing of the scales is your voice, right? Because you have to figure out how to do it yourself. You can't teach, or I mean, you can teach this, but you can't, you can't give this to somebody. It's something you have to figure out yourself. So that is using the Aeolian mode or the minor scale and the first pattern of the pentatonic scale. Now, if you've been writing these down, like I really suggested you to, you should be able to take the pentatonic scale and the diatonic scale and kind of write the entire thing, both of them out in, in, in their entirety, and you should be able to see where they superimpose and lie on top of each other. I challenge you to figure this out now because we're gonna be going through it step by step by step, but if you can start seeing the similarities and the patterns beforehand, it'll really help you in the long run. So, in summation, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Um, I'm using, the track I'm using for this will be called Backing Track Emotional Rock Ballad for Guitar, parentheses, no copyright, music, in parentheses. All caps. So if you want to play along, that's the track we're going to be using this in, for this entire series. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, ask them, let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe because, you know, that's just do it, please. And um, yeah, so the guitar will give you a lot if you just like put some work into it. It's not, you're not going to figure this stuff out overnight. And I guess I'll end with just me kind of playing with all the stuff that, I mean, not all the stuff I've taught you so far, because I haven't taught you the, the bag of tricks yet, but I'll just kind of show you what's possible with this track, and I'll play it in that key, and I, I won't get too crazy. So if you want to jump ahead and use other modes. Phrygian, Dorian. Mode five of the pentatonics. Uh, Ionian. Aeolian, pentatonic, mode one, mode five, Phrygian, mode five, Phrygian, Dorian, mode three.
A on it. Pentatonic. A on it. So, hopefully with that you can kind of, I tried to call them out as I'm going through them, but you can kind of see where I'm at in what mode and you can use that as like a frame of reference. I'll start trying to do that after every video because I think it might really help to, uh, to kind of uh, keep along and figure out what I'm doing. That way you can do it yourself. And once you figure that out, you can make it your own because that's really important. I'm, you, whenever you learn this, you can't just learn it and then be done with it. You have to learn it and you have to look at it. And you have to tinker with it because the way I'm teaching this to you, this is not the perfect way. It's the perfect way for me, but not the perfect way for you. Once you learn this, uh, this is going to allow you to have a set bar. So your the entrance for music to you will be much, much higher than it was for me. So in the long run, you'll be way better at guitar than I will be when you're my age. If you're older, younger than me, I don't know. But I'm mainly in doing this for younger kids because when I was younger, dude, I wish I had some good guitar instruction. So once again, like and subscribe. Thank you.